I really like your place. Thank you. We just moved in. We? Uh, you have a roommate? No, I have a daughter, remember? Oh, yes, right. You did mention that. And she's here with you now? Yeah, she just moved back in. She was living with her boyfriend, and then they broke up, and I don't know. It's all complicated. And how did your husband feel about that? Ex. Ex-husband. Oh, that's right. Ex-husband. Yeah, it's a bit of a tragic story. He and I adopted her when she was a little girl, and she came from an abusive home, and she had lots of issues. And honestly, when he abandoned me, he abandoned her as well. Well, that's unfortunate. And uh, how old is she now? 18, going on 30. <laughs> oh, one of those. It yeah. must be hard on you. Yeah, she's in a really big hurry to grow up. We had a bit of a pregnancy scare when she was in high school, and things have been a little rough between us. But I think she needs a strong male role model in her life. Wait, me? Yeah, let me introduce you. Chloe, can you come here for a sec? Yeah, Mom. Honey, this is Mark. Oh. So you're the one Mom won't stop talking about. So she won't stop talking about me, huh? Non-stop. All good things, though. I can see where the excitement is coming from. Oh, well, I'm gonna go do the laundry, but you two can talk. <laughs> So, you're my new daddy now? Excuse me? <laughs> well, if you're dating mom, then I just assumed I could call you daddy. Yeah, well, you can just call me Mark. Whatever you say, Mark. So, uh, you're gonna be spending a lot of time around here, huh? <laughs> yep. You're gonna have to get used to me being around a lot more. I hope you don't mind. How old are you, Mark? I'm 48. Oh, you look good for your age. Can you guess how old I am? Yeah, your mom already told me you're 18. Guilty as charged. 18 years and nine months, to be exact. You got kids? I do not. Well then, I guess I'll be your little girl now. Did you all have a good talk? Yeah, uh, she was just explaining how good it is to be back at home. That's good. She really needs a father figure in her life. Well, I'm tired. Are you ready for bed? I had so much to drink, I can't even stand straight. Well, allow me to assist you. Jesus, you scared me. I'm sorry. I couldn't sleep. I kept having nightmares. You ever get nightmares, Mark? The kind that keeps you up at night? Makes it hard to sleep? I used to. How'd you get rid of them? I don't know. They just went away on their own. You probably think I'm a lost cause, huh? I don't think that. Damaged goods? I don't think that either. What do you think of me then, Mark? I think, I think it's time for you to go to bed. That's so boring. What a dad responds. Look, I don't know what's going on in that head of yours, but you do realize that me and your mom are dating, right? My mom? I can barely call her that. I met her when I was 11, Mike. My so-called dad, he left when I was 15. I had to raise myself. Besides, I'm not trying to steal you from mom. I'm just asking if you could tuck me into bed. I promise I'll behave. <laughs> Just can't get over how big this ring is. Oh.
Look what I just found in Chloe's jeans. What, what is that? Is that what I think it is? Mom, where's the... Tonight's dinner. Can you explain this? Where'd you find that? Just answer the question first. Is this real? Oh my God, did you look through my things? Chloe, just answer the question first. Are you pregnant? Hey, your mother's asking you a question. Answer her. <laughs> well, why don't you tell her, Mark? Tell her what? I don't know what she's talking about. What is she talking about? What is this about, Mark? I don't know anything. I don't know what she's talking about. So you're gonna pretend like you don't know? Know what, that you're pregnant? No, babe, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Don't drag Mark into this. Wow, she has no clue, does she? No clue about what? What do you know, Mark? I swear to God, this is the first time I'm hearing about this. Mark and I are sleeping together. We've been doing it for several months. Babe, she's lying. I don't know what's gotten into her. Well, you, many times I might add. Let me think. Oh, last Friday. Remember you said you'd give me a ride to work? Well, he gave me a ride. But not the one you thought, Mom. Wh what? What is she talking about? Look, babe. I'm sorry. I wanted to tell you, but I just didn't know how. But I swear I didn't know she was pregnant. Yeah, that's true. He didn't know about that. But I don't think he's surprised, considering he never wanted to use protection. Mark, this is disgusting. How could you do this? Get your things and get out of my house now! <sighs> Bye, Daddy. Nice knowing you. Mark's deceitful actions were exposed, leading to his immediate expulsion from Susan and Chloe's lives. Susan, devastated by the betrayal, decided it was time to launder out the bad influences and focus on rebuilding her relationship with Chloe. Chloe, who grew up overnight, learned the importance of setting boundaries and seeking support from the right places. The life lesson here is clear. Trust and honesty are the fabric of any relationship. Deception can unravel lives and destroy trust. But facing the truth, no matter how seamless your lies seem, is the first step toward healing and growth. Always strive to act with integrity and be aware of the threads your actions weave in the lives of others.